So, namaste again, friends of the free world. And it's actually part four, but we can call it part two of Kuverdas. Eight hour strategy on the four hours. This time we are going to discuss the target price and stop loss conditions. So we stopped here actually one or two bars further on 2020 July 22nd and we had an entry here at the break of this top and so the first thing is uh, we're waiting for the stochastic RSI to go extreme or for the price to separate um, from this line by 10% or any any of these lines by 10%. So now we have the extreme here and that means we set our target price uh, half a percent below this one actually. That's the here you see I've written it down here. Um, the the T13 that's the violet line, which is the Tenkan Sen 13. So in this case, actually, we have to put our stop half a percent underneath here. The first stop, not a complete stop, obviously. That's the first quarter. So this level, okay? And then we will discuss as we go along. Other stops uh, here are, this is the Kijun Sen uh, 21. And there will be another stop down here, but we don't have to set it now. That we will do later. Okay, so I think we can already squeeze this a little bit. And yeah, we, we have the extreme in the RSI and uh, the stochastic RSI. Um, but the MFI is not so high, so probably we will get some more upwards movement, I guess. And I've prepared this video so I know where the price is going. But anyway, so um, yeah, we have to anyway um, move it up here. If they are close together, I usually just set one stop there. And I would probably have one more down here, but for the sake of not losing time, I'm not going to move all the stops as I would do in real time, just what is really relevant. Now we have to move it again, half a percent under this dot. And also I would say another one half a percent underneath this line. And actually, we're splitting the stops into four. So the other ones would be down here, but um, in this case, because we're not so, they're so far away, these lines, um, then I would still maybe keep one quarter here and one quarter probably here or something. But for the sake of time, we're not going to set them all. I'm just going to clone, the, clone this one quickly. I don't want to bother you and waste your precious time, you know. We have to be quick and on the point. Time is the only resource you cannot regain. So, again, you get the idea. So we have the stop number three would be when the Heikin buy sell gives a signal or below the Bollinger Band by 0.5%. Bollinger Band I have here with the um, with the dots, you see the top one and the bottom one is like all the way down here so there's no point setting it there now but later on you will see it comes into, into play. And yeah, so I'm not going to move the, the stops now the whole time, I will just fast forward to the point where it actually becomes interesting when actually the stops get triggered. I just make this like to give you an idea how this works. You see I have already my stops set there where actually they get triggered. As I said, time is valuable, guys. 
don't waste your time. And girls, for that matter, and don't let people waste your time either. So, yeah, you see, if, if we had our stop half a percent under this line, it still wouldn't get triggered yet. Um, but we don't um, take a profit unless also this line crosses the T13. So that's the S2, smooth moving average 2. And unless this crosses the T13, we're not even going to take that profit. But here, I think, where is the break? Here we have, on this candle, we have the break. And no, not even broken yet. That's why I didn't set the stop there. See? Not yet broken. There. There is the break of the line. And then we wait for the candle close. And there is the target price one. And yeah, so this is one. It still didn't get triggered. It was here somewhere, I guess, but it didn't get triggered. Ah, no, we didn't want to move that. Anyway, you just have to know the conditions. And here we have the stop. Why did I even? Oh yeah, because the the this is the K21, Kijun Sen 21, and we have it half a percent below. And so here's the Kijun Sen, and half a percent below is here exactly this point. So that's the target price too. Now we also get the spell here. So that would be target price 3 when this gets red. And we don't have any divergence yet to add anything to the position. So we're always where we would actually, I would have to examine it exactly again, but probably because the price didn't move any further, I wouldn't, um, how to say, sell anymore because the price didn't go further down below this candle okay so we got a sell signal here but because the price didn't move further down therefore i wouldn't take a third profit and have to be clever to use your brain so we still have half the position open and price is moving up again So, we would have to think if we would take another profit anywhere here or not, because point being that we already took profits on the K21 and these two lines are far away and um, the Bollinger Band is also still far away. So, you know, you could just let it run, in my opinion. And yeah, let's fast forward again to these further target points. I'm just explaining why it didn't take any further profits. And also we got a pretty good reset on the RSI, so therefore the more upward movement is expected, okay? So what changes here? is that we finally well we have again the k21 i mean it doesn't make so much sense actually and we have another um how to say can even take this out in my opinion another cell i mean you can argue you know because the price moved quite a bit so you could take another 
quarter profit. And then here we finally have the half percent break of the Bollinger Bands, which is this little dots here. And then we have another take profit. And here we finally have a break of the what's that 34 minus half a percent okay so there we have another take profit and we have the divergence double divergence here and therefore we enter again and the whole game starts so yeah if you're interested the, there is another um, there would be another take profit half a percent under the 42 line and no, that's actually the 68 no that's the 42 the 68 I don't even have it on here now um, because that's actually to be deleted I had it on there just for consideration but that's too far in my opinion so we don't need also six target prices but I think you get the point you just have um, different points according to the RSI and the lines and so on and yeah and here we have another entry because of the divergences and all the other criteria described from the first video so thank you very much again for tuning in and um, if you have any questions or comments you're most welcome and may the om love be with you Jai Kuber Jai Lakshmi Kuber